Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all to my channel. Today we are going to uh, see a case law, a case which is happened in the uh, Nigeria. Uh, through this case law, we will. Uh, this will help you how. What are the safety measures we should take when we are traveling in a flight? So this case law. From this case law, you will have the uh, good guideline. Uh, to, to safeguard your interest. One of the passenger boarded a flight and he went to Nigeria. Uh, in boarding point, he gave uh, four luggages and uh, luggage uh, uh, label was affixed on this uh, under luggage four luggages and he went uh, he went to Nigeria. When he departure Nigeria, he went to the baggage collection center belt where he found that only three of his package came there and one of his package was missing. So immediately he complained to the airport authorities saying that his one of his uh, packages was missing. So he went to the airport authorities and uh, registered a complaint saying that one of his package was missing and requested further help. So the airport authorities also checked all the uh, packages and they informed that they cannot uh, trace out his package at that time and they collected his phone number and address details, hotel details and say he said that they will be giving you the details, uh, 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 they will collect the package and hand over to him as soon as it was uh, recovered from the uh, package, uh, missing, uh, missing, uh, as soon as the missing package was uh, uh, traced out. So next day when he was in the hotel, he received a phone call from the airport saying that his luggage uh, was traced and he can come and collect the, his luggage. So when he, he immediately he went to the, on the next day he went to the airport to collect his luggage and he found that uh, the luggage which was shown to him was, was, was not his luggage, it was, it was some other uh, bag. So he, he immediately raised a complaint saying that this is not my bag. It is some other person's bag. So he requested uh, the authorities saying that uh, this is not belongs to me. But the airport authorities did not accept his uh, uh, version. And they said that uh, the tag which is uh, fixed on the package belongs to you and it uh, shows your ticket number and your name, everything. So it, it, only, it only belongs to you and you, it is your bag like what they have uh, raised a claim. Then, then they uh, then when the then the back was sent to the verification uh, where when it was open they found that narcotic drugs was stored in that luggage. So immediately the customs authorities, airport authorities arrested the passenger and said that the, you have uh, smuggled the uh, uh, prohibited narcotic drugs. So they are they are, they are ready to go to they are ready to file a case against him. Then he uh, explained the authorities saying that this is not by bag, this is not blank to me like what they have argued the case but he did, uh, they could not uh, accept his argument. Later then he showed a photograph. So before boring the luggages, he has taken a, photo, a photograph of all his luggages along with the package tag. Then he showed the photographs to the airport authorities saying that these are the, these are the four luggages I brought to, uh, brought to me with me. And this is the photograph. This uh, I have already collected these three package. This is the th fourth one which is missing. Like what he showed the, uh, his photograph, and then uh, then the police took the, him to the higher authorities. To the higher authorities also, the, he has explained the situation, and he compl he has shown the photograph. Then the higher authorities accepted his uh, argument, and uh, and uh, he uh, he, was, he was released, and they have not filed any case against him. So just imagine the situation, suppose he has not taken any such photograph when he has taking the bo boarding the luggage, then what would, be, would have been the, his situation? He would have been arrested, he would have been remanded, uh, he would have been compelled to uh, face a lot of consequences. So that would be, that would be the situation. So that the photograph of his luggages before boarding helped him and saved his life. So this is the incident from which we will have to learn and a uh, thing. And it is always better to take some photographs before uh, leaving our luggage in the uh, boarding point. So once once the boarding point, once when we are hand, hand over, hand over, when we hand over the luggages to the boarding point, we can also take a photograph of all our luggages along with the drag, 
along if it is possible along with our face uh, that will help you in one way or other uh, in the event of the package loss or in the event of any malpractice so there are there are possibilities the smugglers or narcotic drug uh, uh, dealers they may it uh, may go game uh, they may go to any extent they may employ the uh, airport people airport staffs cleaning authorities they can easily uh, so when when they wanted to smuggle narcotic goods they can uh, simply shift the uh, package tag from one package to another package and they may comfortably transfer uh, uh, they sm smuggle the goods and one once when they reach a comfortable position they will uh, they may they may try to change the label there are possibilities are there so to avoid all such possibilities we can take at least this much of precaution that will help you to you in all ways this is not the one and only situation where we can use this technique for our safety measures when we are booking a ticket train ticket or a bus ticket or airport plane ticket cinema ticket or hotel room ticket or if you have received any important papers we can take photograph of this papers or receipts and we can keep it on our uh, file cell phone file so, so sometimes we may keep some papers or tickets in our pocket uh, we may wash it uh, without any uh, by mistake and it may damage so in that case that type of receipt will help you or suppose if you lost even if you will be lost our receipt that this type of taking a photograph of this receipt will help us in one way or other one of my one of my brother younger brother normally whenever he whenever he used to give the, his dresses to the laundry he used to take for the photograph of all his shirts suppose he gives the 10 shirts he used to take 10 photos of the 10 shirt and keep it in his file all the 10 shirts will be taken in one photo so whenever he brought back his uh, Uh, laundry item he will see, immediately check up these uh, photos and find out whether uh, the proper the, the dress which he has given is properly returned or not so this type of techniques this type of uh, methods will helpful to us in many ways so i hope this video will be useful to all persons who are traveling in the uh, flying Uh, so you can take photograph of the luggage that will also helpful to you not only when you are when you are going for a when you are when you are making a travel whether in it's by train or it's by bus or it's by uh, any other mode we can take a photograph of our luggage so that will help us in the event of any loss in the event of any missing so suppose if you if you live, if you miss any one of our luggage in a uh, bus or train we can show this photographs to the concern authorities and you are making complaint this is the bag which we brought and this is this this patch we, we got it with this bag is mis 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 misplaced or it is missing like that when you make a complaint the this this photograph will also helpful to the uh, authorities uh, to find out the blockage easily because that that will give a more information more details and more clarity to your complaint so i hope this video will be useful to you uh, you can share this video to your friends and uh, relatives uh, to whom uh, you are in uh, you are interested and you are uh, uh, all to you can also share this video to all your well wishers i hope uh, you will enjoy this video and you will take it as a useful video uh, regarding uh, my youtube uh, youtube channel i have two channels one in tamil it is called as rasya uh, law tube and one is uh, rasya sir tamil channel is rasya satamarivam and english channel is rasya glotube you can uh, watch me ask me so many videos about uh, legal uh, uh, legal uh, aspects and you can enrich your uh, knowledge and and uh, knowledge is power and legal knowledge will not only give you power it will also give you strength and stability and uh, it will give uh, utmost uh, uh, safe safety to your life uh, so you can enjoy my video and you can subscribe my channel and you can also share my videos in addition to that you have any doubts you can also clarify contact me over phone if type permits and uh, i will try to clarify your doubts uh, for your doubt thank you goodbye rasiya kali